All right, let's just quickly touch up on the diary session that some of the housemates had yesterday. Um, not all of them had their session, just a few of them. And um, people that just had a chitty chatty session with them, we, we spewed on just a bit of what was said um, during our live stream last night. But one or two housemates diary session really caught my interest and, and that's why I'm doing this video today. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be looking at Kosi's diary session. Yes, I know we're always like, well, Glory, why does it have to be Kosi's diary session? But hey, we've established the fact that Kosi is sort of like the queen of the diary room now. Yeah, every time Kosi goes into the diary room, she's either exposing one housemate strategy or explaining her own strategy or you know just spilling tea yeah so Kosi's diary session is always a delight to watch and um yesterday's one was very very enlightening i use the word enlightening because she actually oh my god she got inspirational with her speech at some point and it really touched me i could totally relate to what she was saying especially with regards to the theme of the week so we're going to talk about that and then there was a particular question that people asked the housemate about who they trusted the most and who they least trusted in the house now some of the housemates responses it was quite expected but for the likes of tabang and kosi their responses oh my god it was kind of hilarious to me it was kind of hilarious so we're going to get into that and then just um basically touch up on the preparations that the housemates are making towards tonight's um wager task presentation guys it is fire and i cannot wait to express to you all how i really feel about um their preparation process all right so um, as usual i will encourage you all to please go ahead and share with me your thoughts in the comment section below as i share mine with you all right and um yeah you're all specially welcome to my youtube channel you're welcome back if you're a returning viewer my name is glory elijah this is frankly speaking with glory and i am the girl with the t um if you are not yet a part of this community it's quite easy kindly go ahead and do exactly what you see on your screen and um quickly let's proceed into the conversation of this video beginning with kosi's diary session big brother had asked her what beauty means to her that question is coming from the theme of the week i think the theme of the week is i am beautiful and um, from big brother's brief he had encouraged the housemates to express their style right in fashion one of those things um they were supposed to present today is a fashion show yes these housemates if you've been watching the show and you've been seeing this housemates cutting up material sewing up clothes that is for the presentation tonight they're going to be putting together for us a fashion show and guys i am getting excited about it already because these guys are working so hard last night they stayed up till almost done working on their outfits oh my god i am so impressed and i'm really gunning for them winning the wager task tonight because it's not easy sleepless nights yes the hard work their creativity level has skyrocketed i'm super impressed in each and every single one of them because nobody is like a dastical about this particular task everybody is bringing their best foot forward anyways back to Kosi's diary session big brother had asked her um what beauty means to her and it had made her recall a very very sad um experience she had had back in i think high school is it primary school i don't know but high school but back in school you know as a young girl um she had always had the dream of becoming a tv presenter and she had gone to the board in a classroom you know to write her affirmations on the board that oh kosi the presenter kosi the... and then one of her classmates had actually made a mockery of her dreams and told her that girls that have a kind of face a kind of features are not seen on tv and that had kind of created self-doubt in her i totally love the way she had put it i wish i could literally put the entire clip of that conversation it was actually over five minutes guys but it's it's not my property it's way too lengthy so she had explained that normally in fact right from when she started b becoming aware of herself as a young female she had always seen herself as beautiful she had not she had never seen anything wrong you know with her lips with her nose with her features she had always felt like she was beautiful but then the moment that child in school told her that people with her features are not seen on tv people on tv are more beautiful more presentable you know it kind of created a dark hole in her mind and then she started doubting her appearance she started doubt, doubting her perception about her own self you know but then 
as time went on she grew up to start you know regaining her confidence she started participating in beauty pageants and that kind of helped to boost her confidence and her self-esteem yeah and she started liking herself and now she overly loves herself according to her people you know tell her that ah, why do you love, love yourself so much and she's like no there's nothing wrong with liking yourself too much she said that that explains why she takes her time in dressing up with her makeup with her hair you know she just explained a lot of things and according to her she loves her mouth the way it is she loves her nose she loves her big eyes she loves the way she is having built herself to this point to this level in her life she now strongly believes that beauty is simply perception yeah and people's perception about you does not necessarily have to be true or false yes especially when you think different about yourself according to her she decided that she wasn't going to be you know all about what her face looks like what her nose looks like what her mouth looks like and that was why she started investing more in books academically remember because he has two degrees by the time because was done telling our story ladies and gentlemen i was so inspired but most importantly i could totally totally relate because me too i have been bullied a lot you know about my nose um for those of you that have been that are ogs on this channel if you recall i have shared a bit of my story about um some of those things i never really liked about my body i might do another video again for the benefit of those who are new on this channel but um it totally reminded me of that time in my life when i was also in school and every day in class you know sometimes after school kids would gather and they would be pulling my nose dragging my nose and then they would be teasing me you know saying all sorts of things that oh i'm a calabar dog i i have a long nose you know that kind of thing they'll be bullying me it was really terrible you know but i grew to love myself regardless i grew to love myself and what i've always wanted to do in my life is what i'm actually doing right now i've always wanted to be in front of a camera ladies and gentlemen because i feel like there's nothing wrong with my nose i've always felt that way you know but at some point i had that self-doubt so when kosi shared her story i could totally relate 100 percent and i was really grateful that she shared that part of her story and key point you know that i got from that which i've always known you know and you know it's quite weird when you always you've always known something but then you just need somebody to say it again you know to sink into your head she said it again that beauty is perception i immediately ran to twitter and i dropped that there so ladies and gentlemen it was really inspiring but away from all the mushy mushy stuff let's talk about the other serious serious stuff the gamey gamey stuff of the diary session so as i mentioned before big brother had asked the housemates um who they trust the most and who they least trust in the house now for course the way she put it um yami was the one housemate she trusted about 80 percent Yes, but now that Yami is no longer in the house, um, the other person that she really trusts, about 60% of thereabout, is Tabang. Then, she said it's more like her trusting just one person and not trusting the rest of the housemates. Now, she actually classified Miracle as a part of the rest of the housemates initially, but then later she now said mm, she trusts Miracle a bit, but then it's mostly Tabang. And guys, when she said that, I almost fell off my, off my sofa. Guys, I was literally pulling my wig and I was shouting, Kosi, no! You cannot trust Tabang. You cannot. You cannot. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, we've analyzed, we've established on this channel the games that Tabang is playing with Kosi. I mean, guys, listen, I know that these housemates don't really know what goes on in the diary room um, with their fellow housemates and between their fellow housemates and Big Brother. I know they don't know what happens during nominations. I know they don't know what's happening on the outside, but guys... I felt like Kosi is just too smart to not see through Tabang's games. Oh my God. Because when Tabang went into the diary room and Big Brother also questioned her, um, him, asked him the same question, he had said that he trusts Tati the most. And Kanaga is the least person he trusts. He did not even consider Kosi. And guys, this dude did not fake it. Because when the housemates were still paired, they were constantly nominating Kosiko. Regardless of the fact that Kosi is in that pair with Miracle. And according to the last nomination they did, Nana had explained that she does not understand why her partner is always wanting to nominate Kosiko. That she would say they should nominate someone else. Her partner would say no, they should nominate Kosiko. But then you will still see that after all, after all the decision making with regards to nominations, Tabang will still be, you know, playing Kosi's hide and seek games. Meaning this dude is fully into the game just as we have established 
So when Kosi was now saying that, oh, Tabang was the person she trusted the most, guys, I almost died. I almost died. I almost fell off my sofa. I said, nah, girl, you're too smart to not see that this guy is actually also playing you just like you are playing him. Guys, it was really sad. It was really sad. And then for Tabang, saying that he trusted Tati the most. Ha, <laughs> guys. Even people that was asking Tabang questions, because when the way he explained Kanagajine that, oh, Kanagajine is too much in the game, he's too invested in the game, he's playing the game more than anybody else, blah, 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 he's strategic, blah, blah, blah. People that asked him certain questions, because he made reference, Tabang made, re made reference to on Sunday when Ibuka had exposed um, Tati, Kanaga, and every other housemate. People that asked him that, was that was Kanaga Junior's own the only explosive revelation that happens that day? Tabang started acting like he had selective amnesia. Big, but he, he now mentioned the uh, Ebubu Abi is Ebubu Ebubu's selection as um, um, a choice for the veto, supreme veto power seat. Big brother asked him again, was that the only thing? He now mentioned other housemates. Big brother asked him. Big brother asked him like four times. He was avoiding mentioning. That immediately Ebuka had talked about Kanaga's strategy, Ebuka had also exposed Tati's manipulation. I said, this guy, the problem with Tabang is this dude believes that he's smarter than even Big Brother. Same thing happened yesterday when Big Brother called out the housemate for once again, for once again, being dubious on a sponsor task. Big Brother called out Tabang for exposing um, the game to call C, which is against the rules of the game. Tabang blatantly denied it. Big Brother had to warn him that a bank consider, consider carefully your next response. And Big Brother asked him again. And this guy tried to play mind games with Big Brother by saying, Big Brother, uh, I can't remember at this point. Hey! I said, you see people like Tabang and Nana, Big Brother needs to just carry both of them, put them across his thighs and carry slippers and whoop their ass properly. Because those people are babies. They are young. And they just have this mentality of, oh, you can just lie like that or you can just give some sort of attitude and just get away with it. But anyways, guys, I was really disappointed that Kosi said that Tavang was the person that she trusted the most. Yes, based on the fact that they talk a lot. And I'm like, girl, even though Miracle is a gamer just like you. Mary Kush is the only person that really has your back in that house, for real. But anyways, guys, uh, moving on to the housemates' preparation for their wager task. Listen, this is the first time I'm going to be doing this here, but I just want to send out a direct appeal to Big Brother. That Biggie, please, however way these housemates try to impress us, the viewers tonight, Big Brother, please, for the sake of efforts, for the sake of their sleepless nights, just allow them to win their wager. Guys, I have never been so impressed. These housemates have been working over time. The way they are working hard for this presentation. Oh my God, I am impressed. I am impressed. Everybody is working extra time. The energy, the effort, the creativity. Guys, they are putting in a lot into this. And worthy of mention is Yvonne. Um, what's his name now? Kanaga Junior. Um, Justin. Uh, I mean, guys. Every single one of the housemates, even Miracle, even those ones that have never used a sewing machine in their life, they're actually using it. And I am so impressed. So I'm looking forward to tonight's presentation. I am hoping to, you know, witness a blast from that stage. Yes. But regardless, I'm also hoping that they win their presentation, that they win their wager because, hey, a lot of work has really gone into this. So ladies and gentlemen. Please go ahead and share with me your thoughts about matters that have been discussed on this video. Go ahead and share in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on another episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah. Have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.